Okay, so one of my New Year's resolutions this year was to get into a uh, model with lighting. And uh, it is now December, and I'm uh, running out of uh, 2015 in order to, to do something like that. But uh, I wanted to at least get started doing something along those lines and starting to get my feet wet with uh, lighting kits, especially, you know, sci-fi kits. Some of them, particularly Star Trek kits, are just begging to be lit, I think. And uh, so I want to start learning how to do this kind of stuff, okay? So I figured what better way than uh, to do this. And I, I had showed this off. Um, I believe like in December or January or so, and um, this is made for lighting, okay? Now, it's a fairly older kit, I think it's maybe, um, yeah, 2009? Yeah, it's not too old. And, um, yeah, so this is, um, it, 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 it comes with stuff for lighting, okay? Now, let's take a look inside here. Open this box now. There is a modeler at who his name is uh, Kenneth Zimmerman, and I will provide a link to his channel. He's been doing uh, an Andromeda build on his channel, and I think uh, I will. Uh, I don't know. Um, I already have an idea of what I want to do with this, so I'll look at his videos. Um, I've I've been um, uh, kind of lost track of him a little bit. But I will be watching his, his build just to see kind of how he does it and uh, get some ideas from him. So let's open this up. Now, right off the bat, you can see that there are clear parts. So these are made, this is definitely made for lighting here. Um, this, uh, it comes with a switch here. It's got like an off and on switch, which is pretty cool. Now it has the, uh, the battery pack that goes inside here. So this is made for like uh, metal contacts to go onto, and then you. Uh, Turn it on, and then there you go. So, uh, here are the metal contacts here. And here's the bridge. Now, the lighting that this entails, that this, uh, this, this kit is, uh, is, is meant for lighting, is uh, you got like the, the dual wave motion cannons here. And you got like the back thrusters here. You got like this, this main back thruster, and you got like these uh, four smaller ones. And so that's what these these four smaller ones are. You got these this this big thing here for the back thruster, and then you got these two here for the the wave cannon, the wave motion cannon. Now, if you uh, look inside, um, here's oh, it's like a loose part here. Oh, that came off of here, I guess. I only paid like 1,200 yen. So I, fi I figure that if I want to um, get started on something like this, this would be the best way to do it. Is You know, if, if I screw up, I can replace parts fairly easily. Now, uh, in here, you got the wiring here. Now, this does not come with any light bulbs, okay? So you have to kind of come up with that on your own. You got the wires here. Get the little contact. So you got like this uh, little thing here of uh, Kodai and Yuki, and uh, you can paint them up and make them look nice. But basically, this is just a switch here, and you, um, you 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 stick them here, and then you can move them back and forth. The I think the picture shows them like just the whole thing is just uh, painted as uh, gold. But I might try to paint them up uh, with their respective uh, uniform colors and such. So it has the uh, the wires as I mentioned got some more contacts here so I'm sure that these these wires can be uh, used just fine now the bridge though is not lit so what I want to do is you see here there's like these little portals so what I want to do is drill those out and uh, get the bridge lit up somehow and I'm sure uh, the other guy on YouTube, Keith Zimmerman, he's already uh, got his, his plans on how to do that, and I can kind of see how he did his. See here, there's also some um, some bridge section here. I think there's some windows that need to be done. I think this is like in the back, I think. I'm not sure. Let me look at the picture. Yeah, 
Yeah. Okay. And finally, where's the other picture? I'll have to look at the instructions. So here's the instructions. And I think, what scale is this? I forget. I think it might say in the instructions. I don't know. It might be like 1 700 scale or something like that. 1, I don't know. 1 400 scale? I, I don't know. Um, yeah, see so here. Here's the, the switch here. So it's made to be detached. So you got like the, the electronic um, contacts where it just sits on. And uh, that's how it lights up. You can actually remove the, the Andromeda from the stand and look at it individually. So I think that's a really fantastic idea. So the power is going to the base here and it just kind of connects through contacts. Fantastic idea. Okay, so you got like um, some switches here and it shows you where to put the light bulbs. And I, I imagine I could just use the wires as is. I'm, I'm pretty sure. It's it just uh, tells you how to do the the, the, um, the lighting here. Um, let me see. Yeah, so I have been wanting to get started on something like this for a long time. But, you know, as you know, I already have a bunch of other stuff on my plate now. And you're probably thinking, <laughs> Will he finish what he begins? So, uh, what I will do is... This video is just going to be uh, just a future announcements type of video. You know, my just an announcing. This video is just going to announce my future plans for this kit, and I, I will hopefully get started on this early next year. The thing is, though, is that I need to learn how to light stuff, and I've never done anything at all before ever. So. There are some useful uh, tutorials out there. Now, now this this goes back to what I was saying in um, my December updates video. There are many different ways of making modeling videos. Okay, yeah, I like to show things the step by step process of, of how to do something. Some people they just kind of show you what they've already done, and. Um, that's kind of a problem for me. Now, there's some really great channels involving um, sci-fi and lighting and stuff. Trek works. He does fantastic work. Um, he doesn't really show the whole process, I don't think. I don't know. I think he has some tutorial videos, but they're kind of over my head. So I want to try to, if, if I do this, I want to make this as easy to understand for everybody as, as I can. Um, I, I, I really don't remember much of... Um, electricity stuff at all from my physics classes um, when I was in high school or anything. I enjoyed physics, but electricity, you know, the that, that was kind of hard with the switches and such, uh, at least for me back then, but I really, really want to get into this. So, um, Bad Grendel's has some nice tutorials on uh, timer chips and such. Uh, I will be studying his channel for that. Um, but I just did not know where to start. And th this this is what's funny is that, you know, people might assume that here in Japan that uh, uh, with all the high technology that there, there must be like dozens of places to find electronic components and such. I finally found one store in town where I live and it's actually uh, kind of a bike ride for me at distance. It's not that, uh, it's not that far away from me, but they actually sell electronics and uh, so, let me show you what I have learned. All right, now this is just a bare bones uh, how-to. Now, what I did was I printed this off of the internet. I will provide a link for this as well. This is an article I found. It says how to use a breadboard and build a LED circuit or LED an LED circuit. Okay. It, it lists the components that you need. It's very, very, very straightforward, and it's very easy. So um, let's take a look at how to do this. All right, first of all, this is what is called a breadboard. Okay. Now I'm going to make this just totally very, very easy for anybody to understand. 
a lot of the videos I see, people gloss over so much information, and you know, I, I'm I'm glad I'm I'm glad to at least see some videos. You know, most people they just uh, show what that they've wired up stuff and say, oh yeah, yeah, I, I did all this wiring up and this is what I've done, but and that's cool. And I again, I don't want to knock those people, but for me, it doesn't help me. I I don't know just by looking at what you know seeing a bunch of wires sticking out on how they did what they did. I want to show you how I'm learning this for the first time. Uh, that I think this is how uh, I first started getting uh, people interested in my, my, uh, my YouTube uh, build videos. Anyhow, I'll stop rambling here. Okay, so you got these A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Okay, they go across here. You got these rows. Okay, now they're they're numbered. You got like number one, you got five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and so on. Okay, so now these A through E, these five are all connected in one circuit. Okay, and it explains it here in this this this, this walkthrough here, this tutorial here. Okay, these are linked together, and they are linked underneath here. So you don't see the linkage. This is just plastic here. If they're linked underneath here. Now there's like this uh, gutter, this divider here. And then you got this uh, this other one here on this end, okay. And so each one, each each row is linked, and then you got this one's linked, and then this one's linked, linked, etc. Okay. So you got this stuff here, though. This is for the power. This is positive and minus. Okay. You got the the positive, which is the the red line, and then the the output, the the the, the minus with the blue. Okay. Now, just like in Ghostbusters, don't cross the streams. You don't want to get the wires crossed or you're going to get a, a, a blowout, right? You're, you're, going to, you're going to short out the circuit or something. Uh, your LED is going to get fried, and uh, that's not good. So, what I bought is this. This is a battery pack. This is just a, um, I, I bought a 9-volt battery. I stuck it in here. Okay, it's got a little switch, on-off switch right here. Very, very basic. Red, power, and black, which is the, the, the out, right, the, the minus. Okay, so the black is ground, okay? So the, the, without the black, without the ground, you, you got problems here, okay? So what, what needs to happen is you have to uh, circuit. It's called a circuit because it's cyclical, okay? Just like um, you call it like a racing circuit, you know, that the track goes around, the cars keep going around the start line until, you know, they, they keep doing laps, okay? So this is what you want to do. You want to create and have it all connected, and then, so you got this, this continuous loop here, okay? All right. Now, you don't want to cross the wires, as I mentioned, all right? So, step one, well, all you have to do, you got the positive, which is the red, okay? And black, which is uh, the ground. So what we're going to do is just stick this in here. Maybe I, I can zoom in here. All right, so now the minus, the ground, goes into the blue minus here, okay? Now, following the instructions, okay? Anywhere, doesn't matter. Anywhere, doesn't matter. Uh, this is pick number five here. Okay, you got this little switch here. Okay, it's a little button here. See that? Now, you think about, oh great, oh wait, what, what if I do it this way? Well, you can't do it. See, look, check this out. It's not It's not going to bridge across there, okay? Now, this goes on here like this. I'm just going to push it in all the way. There we go, see? Button, it's right there. Now, what's, what's weird is that this is the power here, but there's no power on this side, so I don't, know, I don't understand what that's about. I don't know. I'm, I, I don't know. I don't get it. All right, so now what I want to do next is I'm just following the instructions, okay? A anywhere along here, I'm going to use, let me get the instructions put out here. Okay, so insert the LED with the anode, which is the long leg, and cathode, the short leg, goes down. So the, the, the long one goes on top, the short one's on the bottom, okay? 
I'm going to stick this in just number 15, just an arbitrary number, doesn't matter, okay? You got this here, okay? Now, that LED is in place, okay? Okay, so the next step is to insert an, uh, a resistor. This is going to protect the circuit here. You have to bend the wires here. It doesn't matter. They're, it's not polarized, so it, either way, it doesn't matter, okay? So, as you can see here, this is row 15, which is the top here, and then row 16 is the next one here. So I'm just going to stick this here in the same row as the bottom leg of the LED, and then I'm just going to stick it at uh, the bottom one here. It doesn't matter where. Anywhere is okay. The bottom one's going into number 20, okay? Now, that's where these come in, okay? So the breadboard is just for for experimenting, so you don't need to solder anything, okay? So anywhere, it doesn't matter, the, the positive flow of electricity goes in through here, and then it goes to the top part of the switch, which is on row number five. Okay. Now, this goes from the bottoms of the switch here, goes this way, and then this has to go to the top part of where the LED goes. All right, so this is row 15. I'm gonna stick it here. Stick it in the hole, Stuart. All right, so let's review. The red comes from the battery pack here to the, the positive here. Okay, now this is gonna, this is all connected here. It travels all the way up here. Okay, you got this wire here goes to the switch. Okay, and then from the switch, it jumps down to here. Okay. And that is uh, on row 15. Again, it's just an arbitrary number. It doesn't matter where it goes. Okay. Now, it goes to the top part of the LED. The electricity comes through here. It lights up. And then it comes back down here. Now, on this row here, there is the resistor. And it goes down to row 20 here. And now, the black has to go through here. Now this is the grounding wire. Stick it here. And it just has to go to the blue, the minus here. Okay? Now this is switched on. Yeah, sorry about that. My uh, battery on my camera kind of conked out. Alright, so if you push the button here, the LED lights up. Check that out. That's a complete circuit. Okay? So there you have it. A very simple layout for an LED. Now, if you get the, a resistor, you want to put another wire here. What you can do is remove this, put another wire, daisy chain, another LED with another resistor, and then uh, keep keep going, and you can have uh, more than one lighting up at the same time. So, I really hope that this was useful to somebody, because uh, this is totally new to me, and um, hopefully this will inspire other people to kind of branch out into... Um, experimenting with this kind of stuff. It's really cool. So thanks for watching, and uh, no idea when I will get around to this, but hopefully it'll be sometime early next year to, uh, to start working on that, uh, that model. So thanks for watching. Bye.